And we are seeing in this coronavirus emergency some new cases. At least 16 states have reported increases. And in the last 24 hours across the U.S., more than 21,000 new cases, 1,000 new deaths. Matt Gutman is tracking it all. Good morning, Matt. Morning, George. And a couple of times this week, California registering 3,000 new cases a day. Now, public health officials tell me that with people out and about and protesting daily at public spaces like this, they expected COVID to rise, but they're concerned it's going to explode. With packed protests expected to continue this weekend, that dire warning about COVID-19. The CDC predicting the death toll could hit 143,000 by the end of the month. The CDC director concerned about a lack of social distancing and masks. Obviously, we're very concerned that our public health message isn't resonating. We continue to try to figure out how to penetrate the message uh, with different groups. The Los Angeles Health Department now asking protesters to quarantine themselves for 14 days after a protest. We spent every day this week in crowds who say their cause goes beyond COVID. George Floyd survived COVID and then he died by police brutality. California, one of at least 16 states where the number of new cases is increasing. Arkansas and Alabama also seeing a spike and now reports this morning that up to five Crimson Tide football players and seven student athletes at Arkansas State have tested positive for COVID as they return to campus for training. In Utah, cases have doubled since early May and contact tracers there now linking outbreaks to Mother's Day and Memorial Day celebrations. And in Arizona, where clinicians are warning against quarantine fatigue, they're now seeing a spike in cases and hospitalizations two weeks after reopening. Really within the entire country of some fatigue from people who are tired of you know, being at home, um, tired of having a small circle of individuals with whom they interface, and frankly tired of you know, doing the things that we know help reduce the spread. Nor is COVID contained elsewhere around the globe. New concern in Mexico and Brazil, both seeing record daily death tolls. And as we approach 7 million global deaths, a little bit of good news out of your neck of the woods. For the first time since March, New York City registering not a single COVID death. TJ. Goodman, thank you for wrapping on some good news. We could use some. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.